Wow, your blogs have been amazing, Norbridge. Well, I can't believe it. Here I am, in the future. I thought I'd send you this message before I go and see my robots. I will use all the fantastic information you gave me to make sure my robots know all about the past. When Vikings sailed the seas, raiding villages looking for treasures. Acorn oak and blossom glass. Did you enjoy creating your own shields and helmets and going on your own Viking raids? I hope you didn't scare anyone. And when the Egyptians built their amazing pyramids, oak class, I heard you made a fantastic example of the river Nile in your classroom. And Blossom Class, you worked really hard to create 3D pyramids. You wrote some fantastic did you know facts. I was lucky to escape from being dinosaur dinner. I got a little worried when you told me some ate trees but others ate meat. Phew! I can't believe you all found dinosaur eggs and footprints in and around your classrooms. I hope your little visitors didn't cause you too much trouble. It was lovely finding out how you would care for your dinosaur eggs and look after your dinosaurs when they arrived. I'm glad I didn't have to go to school in the Victorian era. I don't think I would have liked to get the cane. Ouch! Did you enjoy finding out about Victorian inventions? The inventions you thought up were fantastic! Maybe I will have a go at creating some. Hmm, what were they? Robots that cleaned your houses and painted your nails? Robot dogs and robot dinosaurs? Magic dancing shoes and flying cars? That's enough to keep me busy. Talking about being busy, I have remembered some of the other things you have been doing to keep yourselves busy. Reese from Acorn Class, thank you for all the pictures of me you have drawn. Archie from Blossom Class, I loved listening to you talk about dinosaurs and your adventures to the Natural History Museum. And Oak Class, that was a fantastic River Nile you created. Well, time is ticking and it looks like it's time for me to say goodbye. I hope you have all enjoyed helping me travel through time. Maybe I'll see you again one day in the future when you are all grown up. I wonder what jobs you'll be doing then. I wonder if you could write me a letter all about what you'd like to do when you grow up. Thank you Norbridge for all of your hard work. You really have been the best you could be. Goodbye.